Then we deduced that he was probably in the corner of Thomas's mind where anxiety resides, where anxiety's room. So we all journeyed there together to find him. Does that make sense? Yeah. And that's what you missed on me. His room sure looks a lot like my living room. Like. What is this, the upside down world or something? Oh, yeah, it does not get that dark. Oh, I love that. Yeah, spiders! No need to worry, Patton, that is just the pattern on the curtains. I am terribly afraid of spiders. I would like to trade places with someone. This room is literally covered in spider webs, and yet the curtains unsettle you? Well, I literally don't see any spiders in those, Logan. These curtains are literally covered in them. Thanks, but let's call them what they are, Roman. Spider curtain. Creepy crawly death dealers. Dude, okay. What are you doing in my room? Ah! <laughs> One of the move. Right, it's just you do this thing where you where you just kind of appear. Because I've decided to duck out. Quack. Wait, duck out. Quack. Quack. That's a thing you can do for this video. Pretty clear. Anytime I showed up. What? Except you, Patton. You're a funny guy. I love my dark, strange son. It, look, it's just you're never really fun. And Roman, shut up. Stand around being insulted. I would have shown up in person like I usually do. Oh, you poor little anxious baby. Yo, he was acting like a um, just a like a big bumbling couch potato man. That. There's probably a nicer way to say that, but just an unfiltered, I'm just gonna come out and say it, a cotton-headed Indie Muggins. <gasps> that is enough out of you. Logic. See, he's reining me in right now because of you. You do talk too much sometimes. I never thought I'd appreciate you saying that. Probably even Logan. <laughs> Easy. A raisin oatmeal cookie. No one wants that. Pump the brakes, Princey. I'm sorry. You pump those brakes. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm feeling a little, um, extra passionate here. When did you apply eyeshadow? I didn't. But does it look okay? Because a prince has got to slay. I overdo it. You could never overdo it. Mm, well. You are perfect and special just the way you are. I don't care how dark your clothes are, you shine. Right, like a diamond. You, you okay, Patton? I just got a lot of feelings. Hey, Patton! <laughs> Eyeshadow buddies. We are buddies. Yes, you're a little heightened, but what's a little extra height, right? I mean, that just means you're tall enough to ride every ride at Disney World. Unless you're too tall and you get decapitated on It's a Small World. Wow, sorry for that little tangent. I am reeling right now. Well, yeah, but for me... Hold on! Yes, I'm about to provide more exposition, Thomas. Just bear with me. Okay. The relationship between anxiety and performance can be expressed on this curve, known as the yerkes dotson curve. It's named after the psychologists, R.M. Yerkes and J.D. Dotson. They get on with it, calculator watch! Yeah, loud noises! Aren't you just always on the other side of that... Curve thing? Your Stotson curve. Yeah, that's what made Thomas double and triple check things he needed to study before taking tests. And also, you that feeling of tingliness after achieving something he didn't think was possible. E equals MC scared to get moving and doing stuff. I'm lucky to have you the way that I do. Most of you, but anxiety, you're what pushes Thomas to rehearse and rehearse before performances. You are that nervousness that he feels right before going on stage, but just as he does so, you ease up. And you let his excitement and passion for performance take over. I think that's as good a sign as any, that you're willing to work as a team. And that you make us better. You rescued me. Yeah, well... Fight or flight, am I right? Incredibly right. Just like you keep Thomas away from potentially dangerous situations, you also enable him to escape from the ones he manages to get himself into. I am incredibly proud of you, Anxiety. <laughs> Whatever. The great spider threat of 2017. They were just curtains, Patton. I'm actually considering it. What? What? You've kind of made me want to open up to you, but big surprise, I'm really anxious about it. Anxious? <laughs> like your name? Yep. That was, uh, that... You're great, Patton. But uh, actually, on the subject of my name, shut up. Oh, that's okay. No pressure. If you don't want to, Logan, shut your ever flapping gob talker. Okay. No pranks or misleading. Not this time. Oh man, why did we have to have a heartfelt moment? It's totally fine. This is a very accepting environment. But I have to tell you that I've been theorizing on it for a very long time. So if it's not exactly the name that I think it is, I will lose it. Okay. Promise you won't laugh, though. Of course not. My name. My name is Virgil! Okay, it's like a band-aid, you just gotta rip it off. Virgil? Mm. Oh, but that doesn't end with an A-N or an O-N. Shouldn't it be something like a virgin? <laughs> Why is that so funny? Um, because, um, it's not. In Thomas's case, you are indeed manageable. Yeah, and you are nothing compared to the others. Others? What do you mean others? What others? Well, this is foreboding. Fuck, I saw this in here earlier. Is this my Alice in Wonderland puzzle book? Oh. Yeah. I respected your privacy for this long. Please try to respect mine. Okay. 
Greetings, friendo. Yes? I couldn't help but notice that you had some very nifty posters back here. Uh, you probably already own like 101 Disney posters. Yeah, I do. But me and these posters are simply meant to be. You can't have my sick, nasty Tim Burton posters. Uh, fine. <sighs> Uh, what? Hey kiddo, not trying to bother you. Just made you a little something for the room. Hope to see you soon. He never really was good at art.